Brickineers presents Batman's Worst Nightmare. Computerized and motorized Lego Jokerland. Hello, my name is Michael. Let me present to you fully motorized and computerized Jokerland. DC Comics Superheroes Jokerland. When we saw this set in Calgary's Lego store, we knew that we had to motorize it, and our imaginations were on fire. We added pulleys, gears, and motors to the Batmobile and Jokerland Funhouse, and also tilt and distance sensors to Harley Quinn's ride, Deadly Ducky's spinning wheel, and Carnivore Fall. We then wrote four programs to control the rides. The car is moved by this fishing line and this motor with these pulleys. The side view shows how the car is pulled by the fishing line. It's nearly invisible. It's much easier to do this than to motorize the entire car, which would have changed it dramatically. This just gives you a better view of the left side of the that pulley system. Anybody can make things move with the pulleys, a fishing line, and a good motor. Now we begin to explore the Deadly Duck Ride. I'm the penguin and I'm going to make you a dizzy beast boy. Ah! The Deadly Duck Ride already revolved as designed by Lego, so all we had to do was build it and then add an extra long axle to the back and connect it to a motor via pulleys. You can see that the motor speed changes depending on how close the penguin is. We have a distance sensor there, and the distance sensor controls the speed of the motor and therefore the revolution of the ride. So the closer the penguin is, the faster it goes. And we thought that would be a nice little added touch uh, so that the penguin can affect the Beastie Boy as he rides in the bucket. Now here we have a rear view of the motor and the pulley system. It's quite easy to build. Anybody can do it. Here's a top view of the Deadly Ducky ride we just added for fun. When we changed the pulley sizes, we could make the thing revolve so fast that Beastie Boy would fly out. That was fun. This is how the Polly's Wheels of Fire ride works. First, you tilt the sign. Then, it sends Robin into the flames. You say, Robin, you tilt the sign back. And here's just a view of the motor and how it spins and there's a drum that revolves and this is a thread that it winds backwards and forwards to let the motorcycle go up and down. Here is another view. Notice that we programmed the motor to unwind very quickly so that we would not impede the motorcycle from going down. Here's a sample of two of the programs that we did, the simpler ones. The bottom one is the Deadly Ducky Ride and it simply revolves and the motor speed is set by the sensor as you can see. And the top one is for the motorcycle. And as you can see, it's activated by the tilt sensor. Now, all right. Now I'm going to throw Batman into Joker so he can take a swim in the toxic tank. The funhouse portion of Jokerland was fun to build and modify. It was very easy to do. There were already gears inside the head, uh -huh. and all we had to do was attach uh, and modify one of the gears and put an axle out there to a motor and a pulley system. And we made it so that the eyes rotate all the way around and the hat goes backward and forward. Very nice little easy build. Anybody can do it, and it really adds a lot to the whole system. Here's a top view in which you can see how easy it is to build.
Another build was the Carnivore Falls that we modified the falls. As you can see, the chair ride goes up, the pull, motor pulls it up. Then you flip up the uh, man-eating plant on top, which secures it to the top. Then we spin the motor so that it gives slack and there's a weight that keeps the uh, line taut so it doesn't unravel on the motor. And then we just flick up the sign and down it goes. Nice. Here's a back view of how it works. Notice there's, there's two large gears there uh, that wind up the drum. And this time we're using a brick for a weight. Notice that we're using the tilt sensor so that as we tilt it one way, the program interprets it and it lifts the chair. And when we tilt it the other way, the motor rotates the opposite direction and it gives slack for the line so that the chair can fall. In this example we just go up and down. Now here's one of my favorite parts of the video. You can control anything using power functions so you do not need the WeDo software or Scratch software. You don't need the WeDo kit. You do not need the USB hubs and the sensors and other expensive things that come from WeDo Education. Uh, you can simply buy a Power Functions kit from the LEGO store. You can add motors, any amount of receivers or transmitters, and motorize, or let's say powerize, any LEGO build. Of course you need pulleys, gears, and axles, which are usually available in many boxes that kids have lying around at home or you can buy them on various sites that sell Lego parts. We actually used hair bands we bought from the dollar store for pulley belts. We hope that everyone has enjoyed watching this video and that everyone is encouraged to go out there and motorize, computerize or powerize Lego sets, learn engineering and physics along the way and have a lot of fun. Are you tired of sets that just sit around static and eventually disintegrate into parts bins that are unmanageable? Why not motorize them, computerize them, powerize them, make them engaging, make them exciting, make them interactive? Bricaneers will be showing the computerized Jokerland build at LEGO Fests around Calgary and at our classes. Thank you so much for watching.